um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am the ex-girlfriend of Tommy Sotomayor, Tommy Harris, whatever the hell you want to call him, aka a bitch ass nigga. Let me tell you why I call him that. So I broke up with him about two and a half weeks ago because come to find out he ain't shit just like the rest of everybody else that he talked about. Well, last night he took it upon himself or early this morning to make a YouTube video trying to discredit me and assassinate my character when in reality, he's the one in the situation who is a liar and a cheater and a stalker and all this extra shit that he claims I am. That's him. I have no time for that. Um, before I met him, I was single and celibate for 15 months and I was working a job, you know, life's going great. And he, he started off stalking me on Instagram. When I say stalking, I mean stalking, like writing me message after message. As a matter of fact, here you go. Want to see? Look. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? I saw you on Tinder. Hello. Look, all like just, just being a stalker. Lying to me about his age. I asked him how old he was. He told me he was 35. I said, no, you're 42. Like, no, I'm not. Look at this. Look at him. But I'm the stalker here. This is before I even gave him my number. Look, I think you are damn near a perfect woman. I've never seen anyone as beautiful as you, but I can't force you to actually talk to me. Look, hello, please. I can promise that if you give me a chance, you won't regret it. Come on, please give me a chance. Begging. Begging. <laughs> I do love you. Baby, please say something to me. That's because I started ignoring him when I found out that he was lying about his age. So anyways, um, I guess the issue here is that he was making a video about me last night saying that I'm his crazy ex-girlfriend and he broke up with me. Like, first of all, I actually broke up with him because I found out that the girl goddess who he claimed was some type of employee of his was actually his one of his girlfriends. And I'm talking about like, he telling her, I love you. He's sending her money. After he told me how much of a whore and a prostitute she was, you know, he sure was telling the girl that he loved her and flying her in and out of town and even met her daughter. Like, what, <laughs> what is this? Y'all, that man is not who y'all think he is, I swear. So when uh, he got caught up in his lie, between her and I, what actually happened was, and I think he was the one behind it because it all makes sense now. Somebody created a fake page on uh, Facebook and they wrote me the messages. Let me see if I still have the messages because I keep all the receipts. That's why, Tommy, don't lie on me, honey. I got all the messages still, every email, all the cash apps. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Just don't speak on me at all. But what you're not going to do is lie on me. So it started off um, some strange woman writing me messages on Facebook. And it was, let me see. Oh, here it is. Look at this. How weird is this? Could have sworn that I seen another girl post the same house as you did with the lake. I said, huh? <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> They sending pictures from, look, that's the girl goddess's Facebook. I, I didn't know nothing about any of this, mind you, because I don't go to females' pages creeping. I said, huh? She's sending stuff. I said, who sent you? I'm confused. Like, I don't care anything about this. Like, I don't know. So then they go to goddess's page, and they're writing her comments, and here are the screenshots from that. Well, anyways, as you can see, it's like a whole, look, the girl even tagged me in the, y'all look at this. Look at this. So there's like some weird shit going on at this point. There's like messages being sent back and forth. I don't know who is behind this, but I'm just like, huh? Who sent you? Like, I don't really like, I don't really feed into stuff like that. It's just not my get down at all. I'm just not that kind of girl. And so, um. I called him that night and I'm like, yo, you know, like what, what the hell is going on? Like, why are like, so she's at your house, like your new house. I know she's at the old house because I saw that, but like, you've been moving to this new house and I just didn't know that she was around you at all. It's weird. Like I'm your girl. You just don't tell me stuff like this. 
And so he gets mad. You always listening to stuff and you always on Facebook. Somebody always telling you something. I'm like, well, it is what it is. Like, you're a liar. So, you know, I, I ended things with him that night just off the simple fact that he just can't be real to save his life. He's such a liar. Like, it, it fucks me up to see him making all these videos and he want to be so positive and oh, like, he's such a good person. Like, no, all the bad shit that he say about people, he is that exact same way. But for some reason, he have all y'all fooled, and I don't understand how. Like, why are y'all fooled? How could he convince y'all that what he's doing is actually something productive? Because it's not. Any person can sit there and make YouTube videos talking shit all day. But the fact that you're a 43-year-old man, and you still doing that, like, you should grow up just a little bit. At some point in your life, you just stop doing stuff. Like, you're still lying and cheating. Like, why not just keep it real? Listen, I'm an honest woman. I'm open, too. Like, you could have just kept it real. Could have just kept it real, like, to the point where you sitting here telling this girl you love her, but then you turn around and tell me, oh, her booty stink. She a $300 hoe. I don't like her. She, it's just business. Like, really? Really? So then he turns around and tells her that um, I'm his crazy ex-girlfriend who won't leave him alone. And... I'm just somebody that helps him clean up his house. Like, y'all look at me for a second. Come on. Tommy, don't play with it. <laughs> don't lie. I don't even look like I would do anything like that. I'm beyond that. I came to your house and I cleaned up because it's fucking filthy. You've been living there for two months and you have not unpacked not one box. Y'all, that house is dirty. Like, what type of woman would I be to be here for six days visiting my man and I'm tripping over boxes, his kitchen dirty, his laundry dirty? Of course I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna do my job as a woman because if you look around my house, my house is not dirty. So when I come here to visit my man, of course I'm gonna cook and clean up. Of course I'm gonna do that. Like that, so he used that against me and just told the girls like, yeah, I'm his ex-girlfriend who just comes cleans up his house. Like, really? I go way to Arizona to clean up your house, bro? That's the best you can come up with? That's just corny. It's just corny. So y'all had to pull out all of my receipts and show the proof like, no, baby. Just two days ago, he was sending me money through the cash app. Just two days ago, he's like, oh, I love you, babe. Good night. I have all those messages. So it's like at this point, it's just ridiculous. So the very next day, what, what happened was the girl goddess was at his house with her daughter. Imagine that. I'm looking on YouTube. Remember the little girl he was playing pool with? He don't want none of y'all to know, but that's her daughter. He didn't want y'all to know. That's why every time somebody was like, whose daughter is this? He's like, block him, block him, block him. Yeah, it was her daughter. He didn't want y'all to know. And um, so once she found out what was going on, she took her daughter and she left his house. He said she didn't say shit to him. Less than 24 hours later, he got the little 20-year-old chick, Bree, at his house. That girl is 20. First of all, you a grown-ass man. You're about to be 43-year-old. What type of interest do you have in a 20-year-old? That's weird to me. Like, I just don't have no understanding. When I was 20 and a man that old wanted to talk to me, I was like, what do you want from me? Like, I can't even go out with you to have a drink. Like, we can't even really have a good time to a certain extent because y'all can't go nowhere and do shit. Where y'all gonna go? Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> like seriously where do you take a 20 year old to hang out at does anybody know because i don't know when i was 20 the last thing on my mind was being involved with a, with somebody who that damn old and then like you know he's a liar because when everything hit the fan i told her straight up so that part that he said to y'all i guess where he was like oh i start hitting up females i guess if that's what you want to say you can say that but on my i'm just trying to look out like she's a young lady so i'm like you know are you actually aware that he has all this going on because just less than 24 hours ago he had two girlfriends i didn't know what the hell was going on i'm just confused like i'm oblivious to everything because i just don't I just try not to believe that people would do things like that that I wouldn't do to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no interest in going around telling a bunch of lies and trying to live a double lifestyle. So you just don't expect a 43-year-old man to do this. And so for him to turn around and make a video uh, early this morning on YouTube about me, about how, oh, what was he saying? Like, I was over there begging him for shit. Begging? Begging who for what? You literally, as a matter of fact, let me show y'all because I, I can't even tell you. I just got to show you. Because all he going to do is lie. But honey, I have every text from day one. Do not lie. When you were lying to me, it, it, you know, it, it is what it is. But what you're not going to do is lie on me. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on me to no bitch. Don't do that. Here it is, guys. Look. And as y'all can see, that's his number at the top. I can't make this up. 
I was telling him that I'm quitting my job. Okay? I've definitely had enough. I'm quitting. I did quit. Oh, be with me. Let me take care of you then. Okay, so how am I supposed to be begging somebody for some shit who has literally since day one been begging me to let him take care of me? That was one of the first things he said. I'm well off financially. Let me take care of you. And so then, oh, guys, so his whole reason behind this is because... He claims that somebody that I know who's a friend of mine, first of all, I've been knowing all my friends for a solid 10 years. Ain't nobody I know told him no shit like this. He claims that somebody that I know told him that I sell ass. Okay? First of all, look, my friend's laughing. Listen, it's 2018. Ain't nobody out here selling ass, and it's, it's certainly not me. When I met this man, I had a job. I was working 11 to 12 hours a day busting my ass, working my job. So he claims that this friend of mine told him that not only do I sell ass, but we both go out and sell ass together. So I said, well, who is this friend? Let me see what you're talking about. He don't want to show me. That's because he's a liar. He does shit and says shit to try to make himself feel better. Because then he turns around and was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You did absolutely nothing wrong. It was my fault. I did it all. I did it. Oh, look. Here's some more begging. So I finally text him. This is Avi after he was working my fucking nerve. Thank you so much. Like, you thanking me for texting you? <laughs> Corny ass. I can promise if you give me a chance, I will make you happy. I'll work my butt off. I live in Phoenix. Where are you? I can only ask for a chance to show you. Would only be lucky if I had you. Everyone knows what my dream girl looks like. If you watch my shows, you will see for years I described the perfect woman for me physically. You literally are her come true. Look, I don't text back for a couple minutes. He's like, did I say something wrong? I'm like, what? Let me explain something to y'all. This man sat here and told the next bitch, okay, that I kept trying to go live with him, but he didn't want nobody to see me. Now, I don't know if any of y'all remember, but all Tommy fans know that I've been on his Instagram. Okay, let me show it to y'all. Just because he want to lie about it, like, don't. He tried to tell us his little new girlfriend, Bree, to make her feel good. Oh, I treated her like a hoe. I treated you like a queen. Did you? Because you, listen, I, I don't know any hoes that have had they ass ate. And I'm just going to put it out there like that. You over here eating pussy. You eating ass. You're literally trying to have my baby. You're literally, like, I have to get back on birth control. Like, this man trying to put kids in people. You're trying to marry me. You're asking me to move in. Like, I have my own spot in Vegas. I have no need to move in with you. Look. On his Instagram, I know y'all remember this. This is me on his Instagram. This is me. Look, perfection. He said his girl walk around looking like the letter P. Pretty face, small waist, and major boobage. Winner. Tell me I'm lying, y'all. So for you to sit here and say that I was a hoe and you treated me accordingly, Tommy, stop. You just don't have to mention me at all because now I have to do this because you're not about to try to assassinate my character or try to make me look stupid. E even though you did not say my name, I know you're talking about me and I have a big problem with that. Because the last thing that I wanted to do was get on the internet and say anything about you because I can really air you out, bro. You and I both know that. So it's just kind of crazy at this point that you're as old as you are and you do this. Like, this is all you do is sit on the internet and you talk about black women all day. But look at you. You're nothing but a typical nigga. Like, you're literally a nigga. You're not a man. You're a nigga. And for you to go around treating women like this is weird because you have kids. Like, you have two daughters. And is this what you want them to go through? Really? Honey. Like Tommy said, y'all know what his dream girl look like. I'm not the crazy ex. I'm not none of that. I have no desire to do any of that to you at all. You're just mad that you got caught up in your lie and that you got left. See, I'm the kind of woman where I'm not, I'm not sticking around for that. I don't give a damn how much money you have because I have my own. Yeah, you paid my bills and my rent. <laughs> and it was nice, but I've been doing that since I was 18 years old. You're not doing anything. I left my parents' house when I was 18. I'm 25 now, and I have not looked back not once. I never went to go, none of that. I can handle my own. I know how to take care of myself. I didn't need you to do shit. You offered that. And I let you. It was, it was a sign of relief to be able to have somebody really do that and mean it. But then you turn around and you start lying on me. Like, you can't do that. If you're a fan of Tommy's, I strongly encourage you to, to, to just do some 
y'all just need to figure something else out because I would not, don't follow him. It's just a terrible idea. He's living a life. He wants y'all to live a lifestyle that he's not even living. He's talking about women that wear ha hair hats and wear a weave. He don't really give a damn about that. Women that wear makeup, he don't really give a damn. Women with kids, obviously he really don't give a damn. He don't care. He just wants y'all to follow him. And he's not even doing what he wants y'all to, to do himself. It just makes no sense. Bitch ass nigga. That's exactly what he is. A bitch ass nigga. So now he got me on here talking crazy. Looking ghetto, looking ratchet, whatever you want to call it. But I'm sick of it. Don't do that to me. Because I had no desire to try to say anything about him. I kept my mouth closed. I didn't say shit. I left him alone. You know, I spoke to Goddess and I spoke to Bree and I left that shit exactly where it was. Why are you on Facebook making posts? Why are you on YouTube making videos? And then your little 20 year old girlfriend in the background laughing, honey. Understand how dumb you look because I bet you that he's currently still fucking Rebecca. I bet you that. He's not leaving her alone. Believe that. He's been he's been involved with Rebecca for five years, honey. Do the math. You can laugh all you want to, but you you saw the receipt yourself. The night before this became your boyfriend, he was saying, I love you, babe, to me. You saw it yourself. So, you know, that's on y'all. That's between y'all. But this man sitting here saying he treated me like a hoe. So are you a trick or how, how does that work? Because I never experienced that. But I guess I had me a trick. I guess. I, you think Tommy was a trick? Maybe that's what it seemed like. Apparently, that's what he do. Like, he's sending me money, and then two days later, sending Goddess money too, because she sent me the screenshots. So I'm like, damn, he just, damn. And then he over there trying to scrape money up together to go on a tour that he don't have the money for. Like, you know. And then why he gets so mad when y'all ask him what happened to the movie? Like, y'all donated for the movie. Where is that? How many times has he scammed y'all? Scammed y'all? The Soto Cruise, <laughs> the movie. What about the show in Dallas that he's just supposed to have? Y'all do the math. What he's doing is taking y'all money and he's spending it to pay my bills, to pay my rent, to fly me out of town and countless other women. So if I were y'all, I would just be a little more smart with the money because honestly, the things that he's doing, you can do it yourself. He's not doing anything. Anybody in the world can go around the web and go on Facebook talking shit about people. Like you a grown ass man. Like ain't that sick? How sick is that? Sick. Grown ass, overgrown. Like you're old enough to be somebody's grandfather damn near and you just sit on YouTube. Oh. Like, and half the time all you do is get up and change your shirt. Cause you like, oh, I can't wear this shirt. All you have this on. Like, yeah, baby, change that shirt before they know. Yeah. Stop playing games, Tommy. Your best friend is that cat. Okay. <laughs> That cat, he loved that cat. That cat is the only person, place, or thing in this earth that he is loyal to. He ain't loyal to shit else. He's not even loyal to his fans. What type of um, YouTuber, whatever the fuck you want to call him, what is that? What type of YouTuber gets on YouTube making videos for the people to see, and then when y'all start asking questions, he get mad. Like, why are you mad? They want to know who the girl is. They want to know who the kid is. Like, why are you mad? Then he's sitting there saying that I'm his ex. Tommy, I was just at your house Labor Day weekend barbecuing. And then I fl and then we flew my friend out there. And all that story he told y'all about, oh, he had three girls skinny dipping in his pool. Bitch, you're lying. First of all, it was two of us. It was not three. Well, he was the third girl. Oh, so he wasn't lying. <laughs> well, I guess he was the third bitch that was skinny dipping in his pool then. Because he's a bitch. He's a bitch. Then he sit here. And say that nobody, he didn't want nobody to see who I was. Baby, listen. Let me show y'all something. I don't do limelight. I don't do cameras. That was all my idea. Okay. Let me see. Just don't lie. That's how he tried to make his new girlfriend feel better. Oh, nobody knew who she was. They all knew who you was. Did they? Did these people know that this was your girlfriend or did they think that she was just another bitch that you was doing the show with? Keep it real because I was watching the shows myself. And even I was like, yo, what the fuck? Who, who is this? Oh, she's staff. We're filming for a movie. We're doing this. We're doing that. And then, girl, like, you're dumb. Don't be so dumb. Like, think about it. You've been around goddess. And when Rebecca was there, he would not let you to his house. And now you're his girlfriend. Make, make a little bit of sense, honey. Listen.
Hold on, where is it? Look at this. I love you. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? No, you don't. Like, how do you love me, y'all? This was a week after I met this man. This man was like madly in love. I love you. I'm like, yo. Then I start responding. He's writing me on Instagram. Y'all saw it. I do love you. Please respond to me. Like, nah, you're a little bit full of shit. You're a little bit full of shit. Let me see. Here it is. Gonna try to tell. He tried to tell Goddess O oh, that she kept trying to go live with me. I didn't want nobody to know who she was. Now, Tommy, they already know who I am. See, the gag is you already put me on Instagram. They know. Where is it? What are you saying? Look at this. Look at this shit. Life is easier when you have help. Look, I work one to ten. Bitch, I had a job. Don't play with me like I'm a hoe. I need help in life because I have everything but a good mate. You don't have a good mate because you're a fucking liar. And all you do, this nigga has never once been faithful to a girl ever in his life. You a bitch. We could take care of each other. You would be my balance. And then he lied and said he was trying to move here. Bitch, no you wasn't. Because you had already found a house in Arizona. How I know? Because when I met him in Vegas, I drove to Arizona with him two days after meeting him. And I went with him to see his new house. Fuck out of here. Look, he's still lying. No, I'm not 43. That I swear on my mom. Bitch, you lying on your mama? He lied on his mama. Motherfucker told me he was 35. Give us a chance, please. Just say yes. I can fly you anytime you want. If, if I move there, you can see me whenever you want. If you get comfortable with us as a couple, you are more than welcome to move in. But let him tell it. I would, girl... I think you would be a great compliment to me and what I do for a living. We will be the couple people want to see in here. I just got to get to know you. A lot of men play games and I don't have time for that. I don't really do public speaking. Not really a camera type of woman either. Look, what if I pay you for any time you miss coming to see me? Like, come on. Come on. So if you just sit here and say, I kept trying to go live with you, but you didn't want people to see me. No, you wanted these people to... You were begging. I'm like, no. Like, I don't do cameras in public speaking. I don't do that. I've dated celebrities. I've dated all types of rappers and everything that you can imagine. If you've, you've never once seen me in their spotlight, I don't do that. I don't do that. I have no desire to do that. That's not where I am in life. Look. If I pay a bill for you, how can I take that back? I don't give people shit I can take back. Look, you need a new car, I got new ones. Look, give me a chance and I will literally make your life easier. I want a family and a good woman. I promise you I'll make you happy. Look at this, begging, message after message. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And yes, I love breasts and you, can, you have a crazy amount of it. You are tall, nice. Hoping you give me a chance. It's like you getting an interview with the job you always wanted. So you're going to give me a chance? Well, thank you. All time he do is trick off his money. Beg for attention that he going to waste. And lie. It's only good for his lying. When I found out. That he was involved with multiple other women. I withdrew myself from the situation. I don't have time for that. I don't. And for any of y'all playing these games with him, get the money. <laughs> get the money. Get the money. Because apparently all, let him tell that all females are hoes. So maybe we should start treating him like a trick. Because obviously that's what he wants to be. Am I lying? I think he likes it. I think he likes being treated like that so that he can get on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube crying and ranting and having something to talk about. Well, bitch, find something else to talk about because I'm not it. I know. Tommy, isn't it crazy to hear me talk like this? You've never seen this side of me, huh? Because look what you brought out of me. Now, it was one thing when I had to leave you alone. Okay, but don't, like, don't, don't get on YouTube. Don't, don't do that. It's not a good idea. 
nasty ass. Listen, he said, uh, this motherfucker called me a liar. Who's a liar? Look. <laughs> Where is it? Let me show y'all all these apology messages after he got caught apologizing. You sorry, huh? I bet. You fucked up a good thing because now you got kids over there who can't even cook. This bitch boiled you some hot dogs. She boiled the water first, though. <laughs> and then she boiled the hot dogs for like 20 minutes. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. I'm over there cooking, guys. I'm a private chef. As a matter of fact, make sure you follow me on Instagram, First Lady AV. That's A V like Victor I. First Lady AV. My uh, Facebook page is A.V. Bass, A-V-I-B-A-S-S. -S. Make sure you follow me, buy a plate. Hold on, here it is. He said, I cared about you, but you are a bit overwhelming. Overwhelming because I be asking you questions that don't let shit slide. Look at this. You didn't do anything wrong. That's why you're getting the apology. You didn't do anything wrong to me. It was me doing all of the wrong. Anyways, I was just saying that I'm sorry. Hurt people hurt people. If Talking about if he really hurt me, he truly apologized. Bitch, what you thought? I was single and celibate for 15 months, and I let your dumb ass convince me to quit my job. Listen, I let this dumbass convince me to quit my job along with all the other lies that he told. Like, what do you mean? If I hurt you, I'm sorry, bitch. What did you think you did? You literally came into my life telling me a bunch of lies. After I told you I had no time or room for that, you literally did that. Why? Because the girlfriend you had, and he called the girl goddess so many whores. She's a whore. She's a whore with the kid. Well, I'm pretty sure you wasn't saying that when you was eating her pussy. Now, were you? None of that mattered. Uh, the point I kept my options open because all women have ever done in my whole life is lie and use. Lie and use because you lie and use, do you not? Who's lying and using you? You did nothing wrong, that's why. Look, only reason I'm saying something to you. It might sound crazy, but I don't think anyone in the sex industry are good people. All you do is use men. I'm like, what? It was me, not you. You did nothing wrong. You aren't the problem. Look. Oh, so this was after um, he was lying, telling Goddess that I was just the woman that came and helped him clean up his house. Look. Look what I'm saying to him. Like, you're lying. Oh, you were a nice person. I can't take that from you. I just don't trust any of you and moved accordingly. This is my issue, not yours. I'm not content with one person, but you are the one who didn't deserve it. Exactly, bitch. I didn't do nothing to you. Not asking for forgiveness or anything. Just letting you know you were right about everything you thought I was doing and more you didn't know. This was the day before he got a new girlfriend. So, honey, let me ask you a question. Do you think that he went from this to being loyal to you? No, you don't think that. He's literally incapable of doing that, literally. He don't, he don't understand that. He don't understand being loyal to people. After he sat here and told me all that damn girl business, he goes and tells her, like, oh, Avi was saying this and that. Bitch, I don't even know this girl. Only thing that I ever said was that she called him a trick because she did. And apparently he is a trick, so what the fuck? So, Tommy. <coughs> oh, wait. Let me show y'all when he wants to have a baby. Hold on. Since I'm just this crazy ass ex bitch, please. <laughs> Look, oh my God, that's so weird. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. 
I gotta make sure you guys see the date and everything, just so you can know I'm not lying. Look, I want kids and a wife. Could you see yourself marrying me? Sure. Said that when I met you, you gotta promise me you won't get fat. <laughs> I can't wait to get you pregnant just to see how big they get. I'm about to post you on my Instagram watch. He's like, oh, it's up. I'm like, let me check it out. So you are my girl? Are you being serious with me right now? I'm very happy right now. Nigga, please, don't ever go around lying on me. Don't ever go around lying on me. You tried to trap me with a baby. Our second time having sex um, was at the Bellagio, right? And all of a sudden, he's like, oh, I'm about to nut in you again. I panic. I'm like, again? What the fuck do you mean again? Like, I didn't even know that you did it the first. Who does that? Like, I didn't even know that you did it the first time. Like, I was panicking. I'm not on birth control. Or, like, nothing like that. And you just you just nutted in me. Was scared to death. T took a, bland, a plan B pill the next day. Tommy out here trying to trap bitches or something. <laughs> well, the right one, the right one could get trapped. I think they would like look multiple times. Follows are hilarious. I think they would like us as a couple. Like multiple times. You keep on saying they would like us as a couple. I'm like, no, nah, I don't do cameras. I don't do lime. Like, I don't do public shit. I don't. Tommy full of shit. So, bitch, the next time that you want to get on here lying about me, just make sure that, excuse me, you haven't lied about shit that we text about because I got all these messages and I don't mind showing them all. So, at this point, I know you're going to have something to say, but, bitch, I'm ready. You, bitch, you're a bitch. You're, you're literally a bitch. bitch you really out here lying about fucking all these women like why why didn't you just leave me alone like why would you <laughs> who the fuck has all these girlfriends and then keep looking oh well this one is a whore and this one is a stripper so bitch leave them alone what the fuck wrong with you are you serious what the fuck where is he Then he keeps saying, oh, a woman never did this to me. A woman never did that. Yes, huh, bitch. Stop it. You've been caught cheating so many times. I'm pretty sure that bitches already know what you be doing. Lying ass nigga. Look at this. I only want to be with you. I said I'm not convinced. I would show you. I'm not gonna lose my dream girl over nothing. When I said that I loved you, I meant it, baby. Hmm? What? What you care about is your fans and work, dude. Keep on lying on me if you want. Look, again, I do love you. Nigga, really? Really? Oops. You make this is just dirty. Tommy is a bottom of the barrel ass nigga. Like, I've never even messed with dudes my age that do this and i don't even call dudes bitches but tommy is a like he's literally a bitch have you ever heard me talk like this mm -hmm. in 10 years my friend's like mm -mm. 
Tommy is just a bitch. Like I've never, I've never had such a bitch. That's like I'm just so I don't even know what to say or do. Like you just really a bitch. That's all I know. One thing for sure, two things for certain. You a bitch. You a bitch. A, a big old bitch. Fat bastard. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I can't believe this bitch for real. I really can't believe this shit. Like that's really like some bottom of the barrel shit. Period. The fuck? Bitch ass nigga. Talking about one of my friends said we were selling pussy. Bitch, who and where and let me know. Swear up and down. Oh, you made a fake Facebook page. Y'all know Tommy so full of shit. You made a fake Facebook page. I got the IP address. Oh, well, send it to me because I would love to see it. Guess what he did? Got quiet. Exactly, bitch. Don't play with me. Never in my life did nothing like that. Never. Old ass clown. 43 years old out here still lying and shit. That's so sick. Ooh. I don't wish a nigga like him upon nobody. And his daughter's gonna fuck around and find a couple. A couple. Just because of the kind of bitch he is. You don't do no shit like this. This shit come back. Look. September 11th. I love you, babe. Good night. Okay. Which was the night before he told Goddess that I was his crazy ex-girlfriend who only came to his house to help him clean up. Y'all see how full of shit he is? Y'all see it? Look, here go the message between us. You only came here to help with his house and shit. Was trying to go live, but he ain't want nobody to see you. You posted that trying to split me and him up. Because I posted pictures of his house. But my whole thing is she claims that she knew nothing about me. So it's like how would I be posting anything on my page that's going to upset you if you don't know who I am? It makes no sense. Literally. Look. He was telling her that I'm his ex whose biggest concern is him, her. And I'm trying to get him back. I never in my life concerned myself with no bitch like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially not one who he claimed ass stink. Like he said, this bitch booty stink. No, thanks. Oh, look. This is his, um, when I asked him who the girl Brie was, this is him lying. I was like, Eva, so why, why was she in California? Yeah, she was there for the CBS thing. That was her only reason for being there. She's staff. Bree, honey, you see this? Your staff. They were here doing a show on the shoot. The footage that's been shown is work and it's part of behind the scenes footage. Girl, you see how he lying on you? So you don't think he's lying to you? Be real. Look at this. That's why Goddess has not been here. Honey, you see that? He lying on you too. When I try to put you in the show, you said you were not ready. Exactly. So don't sit here and tell people that... um. I kept trying to go live with you, but you didn't want me to. That's not what happened. It's not what happened at all. So anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. You know, drop a comment. Write me, you know. Add me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. It's all the same. Hey, Tommy. You like it, don't you? I, I could pull a you on you, you bitch. All that, all these bitches and hoes that you be calling women, you're a bitch and a hoe. Because only bitches and hoes do what you're doing. You know that, right? Okay? Like, lying and being sneaky and conniving, that's not finessing at all. You're not a player or none of that shit. You're just literally a liar and a cheater. That's exactly what you call that. Now, it's different if you keep it real and a female decide to stay around. You got some juice, but you don't got the juice if you lie to every female to get them to mess with you. You know that, right? That's not you having no, you don't have no juice. You don't. All right, so I'm going to let y'all go. Ciao.